I couldn't make it to the wedding, but everybody said you were a radiant bride. Then the years got away from me. We had two daughters. Norman was very successful, but the sports page crowd still remembers you as little Mo. 16 years after our famous split, I'm still fielding questions about you. Teach, you saw Langlin and Moody play. You coached Alex Marble. Do you think little Mo was the greatest? At her peak, I think Maureen could have beaten anybody. Have you ever told her that? She reads the paper. She knows how I feel. I've got a lesson. Thanks, Teach. Hi, uh, Eleanor. Are you sure you won't change your mind? I see no reason to. Maybe there is. She's dying. Cancer. They're planning a picnic at Balboa Park on Sunday. Sorry. Give my best to Sophie. stay here. <laughs> Sounds like an order. It is. And don't cross me. I'll go to Fong's, pick up our food. Don't forget, I want lots and lots of shrimp. Yes, Medea. <sighs> this is nice. We have to go back to Dallas tomorrow. Reservations are all made. I wish the four of us could stay here for always. <laughs> I just knew you'd like San Diego. And I wanted you to see all the places where I grew up. Now, when you think of me, you remember the old house on Idaho Street, the university tennis courts, and this park. Nice memories, huh? Hey, none of that. The three of us have an agreement, remember? I keep thinking of things I want to share with you. Books. Oh, there's so many books I want you to read. When I get home, we'll go on a shopping spree and buy some of them for you, hmm? Heidi, the Little Women. And Alice in Wonderland. And Hans Brinker. And Tom Sawyer. Oh, I couldn't bear to think of you missing Tom Sawyer. And then there will be more grown-up books, too. I want you both to have a copy of Amy Vanderbilt's Etiquette. It'll answer a lot of questions that'll come up. I hope one day you'll have someone else at home to answer your questions for you. I don't want anybody else to take your place. <laughs> Nobody could. No, she wouldn't be taking my place. I'm your mother. She'd be your stepmother. But daddy's wife. I want you always to remember that. If Daddy does marry again, it'll be because he's found someone he loves very much. As someone who loves him. And remembering that, I know I can count on both of you to be kind and helpful for his sake and for mine. Uh, 
Hi. Hi. Having trouble with your service? What service? Serving is like throwing a ball. Let's see it. Your shoulder coordination is bad. Everything's bad. Eight old rackets. That's a new one on me. Why would anybody want eight old rackets? I'm playing an octopus. On the eve of Wimbledon, June 21st, 1969, Maureen Connolly Brinker, little Mo, died of cancer at the Baylor Medical Center in Dallas, Texas. She was 34 years old.